Hey there again, please Marcus. And in this video, I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Asana Calendar. So in the moment when you're gonna add calendar in your Asana project plan, you're gonna find all tasks here. And you have option to simply choose a month, like July, August, June, that's like up to you. Then uh, you're always gonna find the task here. And you can simply always like click on a task and see all the information about the task, what is happening. So dependencies, project plan, email address, name, start date, status, like all the columns that I have here. Uh, then you have option to <clears throat> see the schedule kickoff meeting I have here. And like you can simply move it. Now you have an option always to choose between today and you're going to see like the marketing guide here. So you see it right here and you can always change uh, the length of it and you're gonna see the status at risk stage introduction. So this is pretty straightforward and pretty easy how you can do it. Now you're always gonna find that you can on the top right, you can have weekends on and off. So that's pretty much it how you can do it. Now you're gonna find also that you can like have a mark task complete when you're gonna over under calendar and also what you can do is when you're going to have the calendar on the top right you can click customize and then you can go simply to applications add app and here you have option to add a gmail add-on so that's something you can do And you can also do that, right? Or Outlook. And you see right here, Gmail, Asana, sing email, and use Asana directly from within your Gmail inbox. So first thing you need to like install it and download it. And then once you connect Gmail with Sana uh, and complete tasks from within the Gmail. So that's something you can definitely do if you want to. Google Calendar Asana. I'm going to check even if you can do this. And now from the project header, from the side parcel, the project you want to sing. And let's see. From the project header. Export sync to calendar. And then you're going to simply like take this link. And when you have it. From the sync to calendar pop-up window copy the entire link in google calendar click the plus icon so we go to google calendar now and when you copied this link here that we added so give me a second Do 
Got it? And now what I will do is plus the icon next to the add covers car calendar. from URL and now so this should be it right Okay, in Google Calendar, so we go this here, sync to calendar from URL. Okay, and now when we have it, this is how we do it, exactly as I did it, right? So again, you go here. Add calendar from URL. Add calendar. Fetching events in the background. Okay. And voila, here we got it. So this is how we can uh, connect with calendar. It was a little bit painful. I know, I know, I know. But, yeah, this is how we can connect. Uh, Google Calendar with the Sana. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.